All right, everybody. What I have today is a D. Armand S73. It's a double cutaway. Beep, beep. Has these really cool D. Armand USA pickups that are both in chrome and gold. Uh, it's like all the hardware. Has the A on the knobs. Um, the S73 should not be confused with the S65. Uh, the 73 has the bolt-on neck. Or the, I'm sorry, the S75 has a bolt-on. The 73, as you can see, does not. Uh, the S65 doesn't have the cool pickups either. So these are, D. Armand's, that was his own company for a long time. Then Fender bought it and kind of buried it like they did with uh, Sun Amps and SWRs. This one came out between uh, 2000 and 2001, and then they discontinued it. Um, I think it retailed around 800 um, so it wasn't a cheap guitar, but these D. Armands, they, um, people are starting to look for them again because they're, they're no longer made. Uh, and this one in particular, um, it's sturdy. So anyways, let's plug it in, give it a try. Uh, one last thing thing that's kind of cool with this is the the knobs that it has let me show you that so these in particular if you push it in it actually locks in there I'm trying to do it with one hand Ugh. See, it locks in. So if you wanted to twirl this bad boy around, you could. I will not, but you could. All right, so as always, have it plugged in to an inexpensive Line 6 Spider 4 practice amp. It's the clean. This will be with the bridge. Neck pickup. This is going to sound rich. Check this out. That is just fat. Um, <clears throat> the pickups again with just a little bit of distortion. distortion even more dirt D. Armand S73, really cool pickups. Um, this is fun. 
Enjoy. So as always, matching with the drink. I'm going with the Moscow Mule. They kind of match. Um, so a Moscow Mule, you could pretty much drink that anywhere. And a guitar like this, you could play metal, you could play blues. Um, similar to a Moscow Mule for any occasion. <laughs> 